What's up, YouTube, man? Your boy, I love E2, coming at you for another banger. You can see I got another outlaw lineup. Boy, that's a $50 haircut for anybody that's counting these fucking Benjamins in my pocket, man. But my pockets are fatter than 99 Ricky Lake, baby, right now. Everything's good up in the hood. Oh, coronavirus, man, is going on. What do I have to talk about today, man? I'm going to get straight to the point, man. First of all, man, if you like my videos, don't forget to hit subscribe. I never say it in the beginning of our vi in my videos. I need to start. Hit subscribe, man, if you like my videos. Um, hit me on my Instagram, outlawv2.0. If you like my videos, you want to see my story, you can get me on Snapchat at dat one name j. Um, that's pretty much it. Hit that little bell to send you them notifications too. Shout out, man. Stage four spoliosis, my boy CT Fletcher still fighting aging and heart disease and everything that dude's been through man so shout out man everything's going good my body looks good uh everything's fine i think uh gyms are gonna start opening up man stuff looking positive um that's pretty much it so the main focus of this uh this video man is i wanted to do a uh <clears throat> a video on gear weights and measurements because everybody doesn't really know what the fuck they're talking about or well actually I want to make sure I want to do an informational video for all you people watching about like what uh, how much is a CC what's an ML what does MG per ML mean all that other stuff that you're gonna see on websites and you're gonna see on the side of your uh, your gear bottles so I'm just gonna explain to make sure what most of you guys know what the fuck that means when you're buying shit because most don't it was news to me when I found out and this first my first topic of this video is uh, milligrams per milliliter. It'll be displayed in mg per ml. And sometimes you'll see, oh, well actually, you'll see milligrams per milliliter. And then the first question motherfuckers will have is they'll order their, they'll order their needles and they'll say, wait a minute, these things come in cc's. How am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know how much I'm getting? And you'll fucking struggle. Until you figure out the easiest thing is that a, milli a, a milliliter is equal to a cc. It is the same thing. One cubic centimeter is, is equal to one milliliter. It's the same. So, when you buy a vial of testosterone and it says it has 200 milligrams per milliliter... That means when you draw one cc into the needle, you are going to get 200 milligrams of hormone. Well, if you watch my ester videos, you know you're gonna get, not going to get the entire 200 milligrams of hormone. But you're going to get a 200 milligram dose of whatever the fuck is in that bottle that you have. Alright, so, again, one milligram is I'm sorry, one milliliter is equal to one cc. Now, you will see all kinds of gear out there um, in all different, like, uh, like concentrations per milliliter. Testosterone, propionate, and testosterone enanthate are usually, like, a lot of times you can see testosterone propionate, propionate down in, like, the 50s and 100s. Because you take it every day. It's fast. you got to take this shit like every other day. Um, so it's in lower dosages. Like 100 milligrams per milliliter. 50 milligrams per milliliter. That's 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 rare. But enanthate. You'll see around 200 milligrams per milliliter. And then cypionate. You can see cypionate that's around 200 per milliliter. And then 250 per milliliter. Now I occasionally get questions. Like outlaw. Oh, I've been in arguments with dudes like, uh, and they've, and, and guys that, uh, I know guys that follow me that are, that are cooks and that are chefs and they make their own gear and shout out to those dudes. I don't do that. But, um, if that's what you want to do, that's cool. Buy the raws and do it yourself. I don't care. Go ahead. So for guys that do that, they will tell you that you cannot cook. Um, that basically you can't hold much more than 250 milligrams per milliliter in suspension inside, um, inside basically the oil because you're using a carrier oil like uh i mean whatever you're using as a carrier oil i'm not a chemist and i'm not a doctor so i don't cook my own shit again so i'm not a chemist but i know 
uh, basically what they say is that 250 milligrams per milliliter, there's 250 milligrams of the hormone and the ester attached in that liquid. And it won't hold much more than that. So if you're buying gear and some guy says, bro, this is 500 milligrams per milliliter, very hard to fucking do. So you should be suspect. You should be fucking raising your, your fucking, your people's eyebrow at that shit. Um, so typically, again, sippy nates around 200 to 250 per milligram, milliliter per milligram, or milligram per milliliter. Um, let's talk about trenbolone. Trenbolone acetate, trenbolone enanthate is usually, usually both 100 milligrams per milliliter, usually. Acetate almost always, uh, unless it's in a blend. Sometimes you'll see a fucking blend of uh, Dragon Dragon Pharma has cut mix and it has 50 milligrams of trend acetate in it. And that's the same thing. They're probably using the same, they're probably using the same 100 milligrams per milliliter trend, but they're just not putting as much in. They're just mixing it in a blend. So it's blended up. It is what it is. That shit's effective too. Um, what else? So trend balloon, I know, uh, uh, NPP and DECA is like 200 milligrams per milliliter. Again, guys, it's one CC is equal to one milliliter. So that is a one on your, in your needle, your actual pin. It's a one on the fucking plunger. It cannot be any simpler. Now, when you buy a 10 cc vial of gear and they send it to you and you're all happy and you unbox it like a little kid on Christmas and you got your little fucking hat with a propeller on it and your little fucking zip up, your zip up onesie uh, PJs on and you fucking run down there to the mailbox because I all know my bros In do 10 that. Miles, and you take exit 31 beyond to Tennessee happy. Street toward Mare Island. Well, when you do that, um... You run your ass down there and you, and you get on this shit, right? So, bro, I fucking lost my fucking train of thought. So, you basically, you, you scoop up your gear. Now, you get your DECA and your NPPs and all the shit that you guys are on, right? So, you're running these fucking esters. You gotta be sure that you're fucking running good shit, all right? You gotta make sure you guys are ordering the fucking right stuff, man. Any, anything that's like suspect, a guy selling you guys yeah, just got 500 milligrams per milliliter in it is is fucked up. Oh, again, so you order a fucking 10 milliliters. Now I got on my back of my train of thought. You order your 10 milliliters, you're not gonna get exactly 10 milliliters out of every bottle. And, and why is that? Well, you're drawing out of a bottle like 10 times. I mean, let's assume you're gonna take one cc each time. You draw one cc out of the bottle, then you inject it in. Well, dude, you're not getting all of it. Like there's some, you you pull some into the needle and then, you know, that, that like the residue comes off or you push it up and it drips out of the needle when you're prepping it. You lose some. Typically, I only say that every vial of gear is gonna get you about nine milliliters which is equal to nine cc's. So when you guys are putting your cycles together and you're figuring out how many fucking vials do I need to run X amount of weeks? Well, you gotta figure out what dosage you're gonna run, how many cc's that's gonna be per injection, and then you multiply that, uh, well, you see how many times you're gonna inject per week, and then you multiply that times the number of weeks you're gonna run that cycle, and that should tell you roughly how many like cc's you're gonna need like in total. Like if you need 43 cc's, then you're gonna have to buy five vials. Cause you can't buy fucking four vials and then buy one buy a vial with three cc's and then you need, you're gonna need to buy them by 10. All right, so uh, it's just gear math, man. It's bro science, it's bro science day. That's all I wanted to do this video for. It's starting to get dark, man. Uh, but again, man, we're past 1,550 subscribers. I appreciate all my bros out there, man. Just. Uh, Let's just get this lifting done, man. I'm excited uh, for what's to, for what's to come. Businesses are gonna start opening. I can start drinking that slurricane and just start getting fucking and not losing my train of thought and almost losing my videos, man. So I appreciate everybody. Good looking out, man. Holla at your boy.